My lab at CDC, we are in a BSL-2 lab. So we, um, that is a biosafety level two. Um, that's one of the lower grades, it goes up to four. Um, th three and four, I believe you have to wear hazmat suits or the compressed air suits. I'm not too familiar with them because I don't work in their labs, but there, there's a lot more equipment that you have to wear to go into the lab. But for me, um, all I had to do was get vaccinated. Um, and I have a key card to get in. So I, anytime I need to go into a room, I have to scan my key card. I don't get my eyes scanned or anything, but they did take my fingerprints um, when I got the job there, um, when I first got the job there. So they know who's going in and out of everything. But um, it's, it's a very contained area because when you're, when you're running diagnostics for um, whooping cough, you have to make sure that you don't cross contaminate certain things. So we have a separate area for making our master mix to run the reaction. Then we have a separate area to extract DNA from the specimens that we receive. And then we have another area to actually add that to our reagents for the testing that we do. And then in a whole different room, there's a lot of rooms <laughs> there, um, we have our equipment that we actually run the reactions on. So there's a very structured workflow that we have because we are in fact working with infectious diseases and we don't want to contaminate because that that can cause problems with diagnostics give you false positives um, so it's a very contained area but it's also a very logical workflow 